It's very easy to get comfortable with a solution that we're used to and that we've used for a long time. But this can lead to a mistake that I see people making all the time, which is choosing the wrong layout tool when they're authoring their CSS. We have Flexbox and Grid, two different layout tools. And while some people get frustrated by that, it's a little bit like we have soccer cleats for playing soccer and dress shoes for dressing up and looking good. Those are two different types of shoes that both have their very specific purposes, just like Flexbox and Grid both have their own strengths and their own weaknesses. People often say Grid is great at 2D layouts and Flexbox is great at 1D layouts, but it goes a little bit deeper than that, where Grid is very good at creating structured layouts where it is in complete control of the situation, whereas Flexbox is much better at creating intrinsic layouts where the children actually have a lot more independence and control on what the layout is going to look like. So when you want a very structured layout, go with Grid. If you want to get the children involved in things and have a bit more independence, say for a navigation, for tags, for little things that need to go next to one another that have different widths that you might need, then Flexbox is what you're looking for.